So this is, this is what it's all about, you all. It's about the future of our young people. They emanate what they see. So when you're eating right, when you're exercising, they'll eat right and they'll exercise, right? Right? So what I usually do is I usually get up about, all right, who's ready to play some hoops? I usually get up about 4 a.m. I didn't do it today. But I usually get up at 4 a.m. and I go running. I tell people out the door, exercise. Because exercising makes a difference. And let me just tell you all, this is about health, it's about heart health, it's about obesity. And so what we want to make sure is that everybody understands how important this is. So I just want to say thank you, Lena, for all that you're doing. Uh, did you all see the beautiful Miss Merlin? Come on up here, Miss Merlin. I know y'all have seen her, but she got, this is. Now you can't tell me that she doesn't do some exercising. See, see what exercise does for you? Eating right, looking good. That's why she's our Miss Merlin. So Dominique, thank you for representing Merlin. And we, I mean, this, this is the essence of beauty. David Carter, who is our defensive lineman? I know he's gonna be our keynote speaker. I don't know if he's, but he's not here yet. Heart disease, you all, is the number one killer. It is the number one killer of all Americans. All. Not just black folk, not just people white, not just people of other races, but all people. So that means grab hold of somebody, your friend, your neighbor, your children, your parents. Y'all, let's get the parents up. You know, sedentary is, is not an option. So we've got to get them walking, moving. I tell folks to build, you know we're in the Billion Step Challenge. How many people register for the Billion Step Challenge? All right, I'm gonna have to have the health department reach out to you all. We're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. Nobody's here registered. So we're gonna have to enter again next year. But when we, I need you all to go on the health department's website and register for the Million uh, Step Challenge. There's so many great initiatives that are here. And so eating right, juicing. I see somebody with a juice t-shirt on, all right. Fasting, sometimes we need to fast and cleanse. But let's move around, let's look at all the options that are here. Uh, also, I gotta remind, you know, I was sitting with someone the other day and we were getting ready to eat. And I'm telling you, the meal on the table was beautiful. Guess what they reached for first? Hadn't even put a spoon in their mouth. Salt. Salt. I was like, you don't have to taste, taste the food first. You know, and everything doesn't require salt. And sometimes if you sprinkle a little lemon juice on it, that can take the place of uh, seasoning for salt. Let's also remember you all, too many smokers. I'm surprised at all the people I see smoking today. I don't get it. You know, and look, all you gotta do is turn over the cigarette pack and it says, dangerous to your health. I tell people, you don't have to tell me once. You, know, you don't have to tell me once. But let's make sure we're taking care of our young people. Uh, let's develop healthy habits. That's what this is all about today. I'm grateful to all of those who've turned out. And go red for women, you all who are a part of that. Let's make sure, because sometimes what happens with women, when you're having heart problems, it shows up differently. And sometimes we think we're healthy and we're not. And it's not just about obesity, you all, because you can look like... <laughs> and still have some health issues. So I walk around with a Fitbit. Let me see what's my resting heartbeat right now. I'm at 62, 62 resting heartbeat. So we want to check our heartbeats. I need you all to get annual checkups, annual checkups. And so we want to, again, it's about the young people. Miss young lady, come on up here, come on up. Yes. Come on up. Woo! Say hello to Miss Marilyn. Say hello, Miss Marilyn. I always like to showcase our young people, you all, because we've got some great things going on in our city, especially for our young people. 
and you're going to be hearing about it more and more. But every chance I get to say this to Baltimore, I know we're a challenged city, but what you should know is that we are headed in the right direction. And we want our city to be not just a healthy city, a safe city. So I need you all to know that since November, violence has been going down in our city. I heard someone last night say, uh, we brought in the U.S. Marshals and they're responsible for the violence reduction in the city. But I can tell you that no one entity can claim uh, violence reduction in the city. From ceasefire to the call to action to the violence reduction initiative that I started November the 1st to the strategic planning of our almost police commissioner D'Souza and to the strategic uh, things that we're doing, the new technology in our police department, all of our federal partners and state partners all have contributed. Not one person, not Mayor Pugh, not one entity, but all of us. So you all, please stay engaged. We started a new black male initiative. We've got a women's commission. We've got all kinds of groups and organizations coming together because we care about our city. We want a healthy city. We want a safe city so that these young people have places to play, don't walk down the street in fear. And so we are, on March 24th, going to take a busload at least of young people in our community to go over to Washington, D.C. and tell our federal partners that too many guns are on the streets of our city. And it's not just in suburban communities, you all. Our young people in our city are facing it every single day, every day. And they should not have to. But I want you to know that in every single category, homicides down some 30%. Non-fatal shootings down almost 50%, but we are down in every single category. So take credit, Baltimore, because we're headed in the right direction. But let's stay healthy, stay healthy for our young people, okay? Miss Marilyn, you gonna share some words with us too? Come on up, Miss Marilyn. Let's give our Miss Marilyn a big round of applause. And before Miss Marilyn, did you all want to say anything? Okay, let me let me hear from you first. Okay, you heard it from the mouths of babes. Okay, stay healthy. If you're not healthy, get healthy. Never too late to start an exercise program. Never too late to give up smoking. Never too late to eat right, okay? Let's do it for each other. Let's do it for our families. Let's do it for our friends. Let's do it for our neighborhoods. Let's do it for our city. Let's do it for all of our relatives. Let's do it together. Thank you all. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for having me and letting me have this time to share that health is extremely important. I am a lupus survivor, and I am two years in now, and it takes a lot to take care of yourself. And as African Americans and other races that are here today, you have to take care of yourself, no matter if it's a busy schedule, we have work, we have school, we have all these different things, but you can't do anything if you do not take care of yourself. So thanks again for having me, and make a change, okay? Yes. Okay. We like that, make a change, and make the right change, and when you make that change, stick with the change. All right, you all, let's stay healthy, let's go.